I asked you before you got started today to be thinking about what you did and what you learned. You had a few different science things to go through. You were working on some media texts and some of you were working on some different reading and writing activities, both with me and on your own in a group. Raise your hand if you can share for me what you did and what you learned. Um, Rudy. Yes. Yes. And what did you learn from making the powerhouse? What were some of the learning that things you figured out? Sorry? What what made that power host useful? What's included on it that makes it kind of useful? Um, sorry? And why are solar panels useful? How do they give you heat? From energy from the so if we want that host to try to heat up, what do we have to consider in here? We want to see if these solar panels actually work. What do we have to consider? Um, Jack? Okay. Yes? Why are they so expensive? I thought sun came naturally. Shouldn't that be a good thing? And most people, um, and, um, since they need a, like, your whole house, people may need more than one. Okay, but why are they so expensive? If sun is just up in the air naturally, why is it so expensive for us to install solar panels? Because it takes energy from the sun. Okay. Now hold on a second. You said something that just made me think about proportional reasoning and math, which I hadn't actually thought about. You said that I only pay once for the solar panels, right? So I'm paying a lot. Over time, would I pay more for the solar panels or more for electricity? What do you think? And I don't actually know the answer to this. Not a clue, actually. Um, Harvia? Why do you think I'd pay more for electricity? Because you're paying monthly, and then, well, if the months go on, you're paying more than how much it would have cost to for the solar panel. How would I find out for sure, sure if Javier is right? What would I have to do? Jenna? Okay. Didn't know that. So, so what could I do to figure this out, Jack? Yes. Okay, how in the winter? What about the winter? If your solar panel in the winter, it's in blue and mine's on the nose. Yeah, but how about, how about, well, uh, it will get covered by snow and ice. But then the sun doesn't. No, the winter. You don't get it. What, what's wrong with the winter? There's too much snow and it'll cover your whole buildings and all that stuff. And what else happens in the winter time, or certainly seemed to happen this year in the winter time? But um, last year there wasn't as much snow as this year. But this year there was a lot of snow. And what else was a problem for the winter time? There wasn't that much sun. So if there isn't that much sun, how is that a problem if we have solar panels? Candles. Shh. What about at night? Like, what if there's like no moon? How you get electricity? Like, I don't know. These are. Well, these are good questions. If it's all cloudy, are you going to see the moon? Does it give enough heat? Does it give enough light? I don't know. The other thing is, how would we find out for sure? I want to still go back to that question. 
How would we find out for sure which one over time costs the least? What would we have to do? Faisal? And then how would that help me? So already we've been doing a lot of thinking.